Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So after my little hiatus, as you'll call it, uh, I'm back with another Clap With Me video. So today we're going to be making this little cutie. So we go. It's a hand puppet kit. Uh, we're going to be making the monkey today because I'm kind of thinking of doing a slower version of the Clap With Me um, with a little bit more of a tutorial style to it. So we'll see how that goes. So today we'll be making the monkey. That will be fun, won't it? Alright, let's jump into the video. One of the things I really love about the handcrafted kits is that they always provide enough wool for you to make each project and you always have spare wool to kind of cover those little mistakes that might happen. You know, we're all human. Plus the instructions that are printed in English because the normal ones come in Japanese, I think. So it's really handy. Here I'm just taking the caramel colored wool which we will be using for the monkey's body. I'm just going to gently pull apart the fibres a little bit just to make it kind of easier to work with because later on we're going to have to roll it up. Now once I'm done pulling apart the entire <laughs> length, I'm going to pull off a piece for the monkey's tail and just general spare in case of an emergency. <laughs> now we're going to take our wool and we're gently going to roll it into a kind of cylinder shape but holding both edges with our fingers so the top and bottom stay kind of flattish whilst you keep rolling. And this way we'll end up with a nice fluffy plump kind of roll. Now once you're done rolling, you're going to want to take your needle and just poke the edges to make sure that everything is secured in place and it's not just gonna roll out of control <laughs> and unravel itself. So keep poking carefully at all times. <laughs> and of course, once you've secured it, then the basic key is to just keep poking. Now, this project is gonna take a lot of poking time, as I say, because it is quite soft at this point, and I am using one needle. If you use more needles, multiple needles, it should take less time than that. Now, don't forget to keep poking in a kind of circular motion, so pretty much on all sides. Don't poke on only one side or else you'll probably end up with one flat side and the rest will be kind of round. We're looking for a spherical shape. So after about 20 minutes of poking, my body is becoming way firmer and you can clearly see that it's become a spherical shape. So you want to make sure you keep poking until your body is the kind of firmness that when you push your fingers in, it doesn't stay sunken in. And that's when you kind of have a better idea as to whether it's ready or not. After another 30 minutes of poking, this is the final result. So I can hear the needle go into the body and kind of make that noise where you know it's much, much firmer. So we're going to pop our little body to the side and get to work on the details. So we're going to start with a piece of skin colored wool and taking a very small piece, we're going to wrap it up into a kind of ball shape. Now once you've wrapped this up, you have to be very, very careful. <laughs> You're going to take your needle and just poke it in place to kind of start holding its shape. And then carefully, ever so carefully, I keep emphasizing this, poke all around to make a nice little ball. And as you can see, I'm just kind of playing with my fingers even, keeping them at a distance. And it's <laughs> When you're working with really delicate pieces, it's really, really tricky. So now I've just finished my four balls, which are two legs and two arms. And it's time to move on to the ears. So the ears need just a little bit more wool. And we're going to just oh, pull that away. 
we're going to separate a nice piece of wool and just kind of make sure that they're both the same size. And then we're going to wrap it kind of similar to the body, but this time we're aiming more for a rectangular shape. So we're going to wrap it up nicely and start pinning in place. Or poking in place, more like it. shape is starting to come together and it's more of a rectangle. Um, once you achieve this kind of softer rectangle, you can start kind of poking the top side, so one of the sides, gently both corners until you get a kind of curved top. So you get this kind of half moon shape at the end of it. And once you're done with both your ears, it's time to just add a little detail to our ears. So we're going to take a wisp, literally a bare wisp of light pink, and we're going to pop it in the center of each ear. As always, being super careful of those fingers. And one ear is done, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do the other one. Once our ears are ready, it's time to move on to the tail. We're going to take the spare caramel colored clay that we had earlier, and we're just going to kind of cut it in half and then roll this piece between our hands. You want to kind of make a nice long snake. Then we're going to place it on our mat, and the general motions we'll be using is poking and rolling. So you're basically going to be poking along the length of the wool and then gently rolling it on your mat, poking in place again, and rolling again. It's basically a constant roll and poke until you reach that nice rounded cylinderish snake. Now once our tail shape is basically ready, we're also going to poke a little indent just to kind of give it that extra little motion. So we're gently going to bend and just poke in that corner that we're bending to kind of hold it in place. Now once your tail is done, you're going to take your body and we're going to move on to the face. So we're going to take another piece of skin colored wool and just gently place it in the area that we want the face to be. And taking our needle, we're going to carefully poke in place, just poking the center and generally around, but always make sure to leave enough room for the arms and legs at the bottom. So here I'm just poking down the middle and a little bit on the sides, in the areas I know will be placed onto the wall. And then slowly I'm just going to curve out all the outside and create a more distinct shape. After a bit of poking, this is the result. And if you like, you can leave it like this, or you can also add some extra wool, which I'm going to do as well, just to thicken it up a bit. So once you're done with your face part, you're going to want to poke holes on the two sides for the eyes. And I'm just using a thicker needle here to just help me with those. looks a bit weird. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the tiny little black eyes and push them into the hole. Of course using glue to secure them. I'm using E6000. And once your eyes are in place, this is what your monkey should look like. Uh, I think it looks more like an owl at this point. <laughs> So then we're going to take a wisp of black wool and we're just going to roll it very carefully between our fingers to make a little mouth. 
We're going to pin it in the center to keep it in place and then just continue poking to kind of form the mouth. This needs a little bit of patience as it's quite a small little delicate detail. And there you have it, the little smile. Now the next uh, detail we're going to make is the little X that Monkey has on his belly. So again, similarly with the mouth, we're going to take little snakes of black and just pin them across each other. Next, we're just taking some light pink and creating a little bit of blush for our Monkey. So just attaching a tiny bit of light pink wool right beneath each eye to create rosy little cheeks. And our cheeks are all done. So that's what our little monkey looks like right now. And next we're going to attach the little ears just by carefully poking them in place on the side of the head. So one ear goes on each side. So here's our monkey with his little ears. He looks so cute. Next, I'm just going to attach these little arms and legs. So one will go under each eye and underneath each other. There we go. So now just a final little bit the tail. Just carefully poke in the back. And ta-da! Our little monkey is all ready. And he looks really, really cute if you ask me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye from me and Monkey. <laughs>